Hello and welcome to yet another example description of uh, the particular integral of type 1. So we are planning to solve this, uh, we are planning actually to find out the particular integral for this non-homogeneous linear differential equation with constant coefficients, right? The coefficients here are 1, 4 and 4, they are constants. It's a linear differential equation because the terms are d square y by dx square, which is a second order derivative. And we have got a term which is the first order derivative and the function itself. And it's non homogeneous because on the right hand side we have got a function purely in x. There is no y involved here. So e raised to the power minus twice of x. So the first, first step is to find out what is the independent variable, what is the dependent variable. The independent variable is x very clearly because the differentiations are with respect to x and on the right hand side we have got e raised to the power negative 2x which uh, has just x as the variable right so x is the independent variable and the other variable y is dependent variable also again because we are you know like defining on the differentiation of y with respect to x so y is the dep dependent variable all right first step first Find out the symbolic form of this equation. So this is going to be equal to capital D square y plus 4dy plus 4y is equal to e raised to the power minus twice of x. What we do here is we extract the y out of this particular left hand side of our equation and that gives us d squared plus 4d plus 4 of y as equal to e raised to the power negative 2x. So f of d is d squared plus 4d plus 4. We'll find out r, we'll find out a. R is the right hand side of the given equation that is e raised to the power minus twice x and the coefficient of x in R is equal to negative 2. So A is equal to negative 2. Hence the particular integral is given as e raised to the power negative twice x divided by d squared plus 4 d plus 4. Now we shall find out f of A because you know our pi is equal to uh, R divided by f of A. But we need to check whether f of a is equal to 0 or not. So what we do is that we substitute d, you know, like in, by negative 2. So, so we get negative 2 whole square plus 4 d, 4 multiplied negative 2 plus 4, and that gives us 0, right? Oops, that's a problem. What do we do now? Since f of a is equal to 0, we find out f dash of a. Right, so the method to find out f dash a is to find out f dash d first, right? And f dash d is d by dd of f of d. Remember, the d here, the operator here, acts as the independent variable, right? Okay, now that, uh, now we remember that f of d is d squared plus 4d plus 4. So differentiating this with respect to capital D will give us 2d plus 4, right? So d squared will become 2d, 4d will become d and the 4 here will vanish, right? So now we'll find out f dash of a, right? So since a is negative 2, we remember that because a is the coefficient of r, right? Uh, in the right-hand side, the non-homogeneous term. So we substitute a, a by, you know, by negative 2. We actually we substitute d by my negative 2 in f dash d that we had found a little while back. So that would be 2 times negative 2 plus 4, and that is equal to 0. Oops, big problem. If f of a was equal to 0, f dash a is also equal to 0. So what we do is that we find out the second order derivative of f with respect to d at d is equal to a. So f double dash of d is what we find out. The f double dash of d is basically the first order derivative of f dash d. Right? So uh, f dash d is 2d plus 4. So d by dd of 2d plus 4, that is going to be equal to 2 because 2d, the differentiation of 2d is 2 and the 4 here, again, it vanishes, right? It's a constant term. So again, we find out if, that, if double dash of a, a is equal to negative 2 again. Let me remind you that a is equal to negative 2 because the coefficient of x is equal to negative 2 on the, and for the non-homogeneous term in our given equation. So, um, well, f double dash d is equal to 2 at all places. So, even at negative 2, it is going to be equal to 2. And that is not equal to 0. Yippee! We have got some non-negative differentiation differential now. So, this gives, this gives us that 
the particular integral is x squared multiplied by e to the power negative 2x, which is r divided by f double dash a. So we quickly substitute what is f double dash a, and we get the particular integral for this particular for this differential equation as x squared multiplied by e raised to the power minus twice x divided by 2. Thanks for watching. Welcome back for more videos in the next few maybe you know like topics okay bye bye